वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ बटन एंड दैट इज फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन ओके सो टू एड अ फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन आफ्टर द बॉडी वी हैव अन अदर नेम्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट इज फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन एंड इट टेक्स अ फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन विच इट ओके एंड इट हैज अ चाइल्ड okay and the child also takes a widget and for now i'll just give an icon the icon say icons add and as it is a button it also needs an on pressed method and for now i'll simply print in my console floating action button pressed okay this should be inside quotes okay so now for style format it and then if i run i should be able to see a floating action button on my screen okay and you can see that the floating action button with the plus icon appears at the bottom right of the screen and that is the place where the floating action button is placed in android and as well as in ios okay so now this also has all the same functionalities like other buttons that is it takes a child it has an on pressed which takes a function that returns void okay then it has a background color okay and if you don't give any color then it will be blue which is the default color of any flutter application okay and you can also change it to any color you like okay like now i am changing it to red and you can see the color has changed to red now one more thing that i wanted to tell you about colors that uh, we can change the intensity of that color if we want okay so for that all we need to do is inside square brackets if we write 300 then the intensity would be a little bit less okay and you can see that now if i write 100 it will be lesser Okay, so I am missing a this over here. Let's run this, and you can see the intensity has become more lighter. Now, if I change it to 900, then the intensity will increase, and the color will appear much darker. Okay, so the standard, if we uh, don't write any number, then the standard number that is by default used is 500. Okay, and you can see that. then the next thing in floating action button is the tool tip okay and that is similarly a uh, string that is displayed when we long press on the button okay so let's say tool tip now let's run this now if i press and hold so i am able to see the tool tip that is the text in my tool tip uh, argument okay so this was also the basic about floating action button now the next thing about floating action button is that sometimes uh, instead of just an icon we also want a text alongside means next to the icon okay so then we can use the extended feature okay so for that we just need to write extended and extended doesn't take a child but it takes two other two different uh, arguments first is the icon and the second one is text sorry it would be label yes so it takes a label and label takes a widget so we will pass a text widget okay and let's let the text say add so now again i format it and save it so now i should see a plus and then add written next to it and you can see that okay so this is how we can modify our floating action button okay now the next thing that i missed while discussing about uh, flat button and raised button was that they also have a extended feature okay so let's discuss about that so coming to flat button we have a we simply write flat button and dot icon okay so now this means that the flat button will first have an icon and then a label okay not just a child that takes a widget but it takes two different things first one is icon and the second one is a label 
Okay, so let's give it an icon. I can say I can inside an icon widget from the icon cinem and let's say Android for now. Okay, and the label is let's see what the label takes and the label takes a widget, so we will pass a text widget. Okay, and it says Android. Okay, and on pressed is simply a console logging that is button pressed okay now let's format it and save it and let's see okay so now you can see we have the flat button that is for and it has an icon and then the text okay so now it is not as we expected because we are using a ink okay so we don't need an ink right now i'll just remove it from here now let's run this so now that uh, bluish background should be gone okay so this is our flat button but in a extended form that is by using this uh, icon constructor okay now if i press this the functionality is same okay and the same goes for raised button okay so if i write raised button then it also has an extended constructor that is the dot icon constructor and it takes two things icons and label and rest all the features are same okay, so let's see this also and you can see that let's apply some color so that it is more evident i'm sorry color is not red okay, format it save it and you can see that this is our raised button but it now instead of having a single child widget it has two things first one is icon and the second one is text and the functionality is intact okay so this was all about buttons in the next uh, video we should discuss about some other widgets thank you